I want to talk about the players that stepped up in this game, and it's not just the backups. Um, it's it's some players that have gotten some good snaps this year, and we haven't seen a ton of production from. Um, so obviously, just talked about Dane Jackson coming in for Azul Douglas. Um, down the stretch, has a huge pass breakup. You know, it's it's one of those plays that Dane Jackson's kind of like always in position with the ball he doesn't always make the play um this is you know going deep in deep into your cornerback depth here and this is still a guy that ha has played a ton of starts in this defense so kudos to brandon bean for getting dane jackson to stick around um obviously i want to see razul douglas out there um playing with christian benford they've been playing great together um but it's nice knowing that you have some meaningful depth there. Um, we see um, Bale Inspector come in when uh, Terrell Dodson went out. And, you know, I, I saw him come into the game and I was like, oh, there's our liability. Like, let's see what happens. And for what it's worth, I thought Spectre played pretty well. And he wasn't just, you know, out there. He was getting in on tackles. He was in the backfield. You know, he made some plays. And I... He's one of the guys that in the beginning of the season when we, none of us, I won't speak for everybody. When I was unsure about Terrell Bernard, a lot of people were unsure about Terrell Bernard. Um, Spectre was getting some snaps and it looked like, you know, there was, there was some, you know, movement for him getting playing time. Um, it's not ideal, but I, I was pretty impressed from what I saw him on the first watch. Um, and then we're talking all these other players that stepped up in this game. Um, Sherfield and Hardy. These have been two of the rougher Brandon Bean signings in particular on the offensive side of the ball. They picked a hell of a time to have a great game to impact the game. Um, Sherfield with that ridiculous toe tap touchdown. Hardy, obviously, we talked about... Um, that punt return for a touchdown really seemed to energize the team. Um, and then getting into even um, Taylor Rapp, somebody that I've been very critical of this season, making the game ceiling interception. Um, just a whole bunch of dudes that I didn't expect to, to be the ones that really decided this game. Um, I thought it was going to be more like, you know, this Josh Allen box score of 30 for 38, uh, 359 yards passing, two touchdowns, adding 67 yards rushing on the ground. I thought that was going to be the script to win this game, right? I wasn't expecting Rap to finish it up with an interception. Um, just kudos to these guys that, you know, have been around and, and haven't really made giant impacts this year, but stepping up when... The lights were really the brightest. Um, so super encouraged to see that. Really hoping that we find out more about these injuries and they're not something that we have to be super concerned about. Um, and because I, I, I got done watching this game last night and I, I was psyched about it, celebrating for about five minutes. And then I was like, Razul Douglas, like, <laughs> what do we got here? Because... You ain't, you ain't making a trade for the next Roswell Douglas uh, post week 18. Um, I think I, I maintain that was probably the best move in the Brandon Bean era, um, let alone being, you know, a, a deadline acquisition um, to be able to replace, you know, Trey, Love, uh, Trey White level play, maybe even exceed that in season. Um, but you're not replacing that twice. Uh if he's missing any time, you got a combination of Benford, Dane Jackson, and probably going to see some Kyrie Elam. <laughs> so, um, for what it's worth, I maintain that Kyrie Elam looked great down the stretch last year. I don't know what's been going on this year. There was the injury. Not sure about that. It seemed like, you know, convenient injury to free up some roster space. Not sure, um, but if Douglas misses any time here, there's a good chance that we we see Kyrie Elam out there. So 
hopefully in in his stint of being inactive and you know kind of being on the sidelines he's been able to you know take that time reset do what he needs to do to to be the player that a lot of us thought he was going to be um and then as far as gabe davis if he's missing any time i don't know do we see do we finally see justin shorter come up um it's kind of crazy to think about that as you know somebody that could be making a, a significant impact coming in, in the first game being in the playoffs um i know there's a ton of criticism for gabe davis out there um much of it justified i think he does bring something to the offense in the way of blocking and just the amount of snaps that he's out there in general that you're replacing um with people that haven't had a ton of reps with josh allen um if gabe davis is missing times like i said maybe it's shorter maybe it's isabella maybe you're getting more snaps from Sherfield hardy um none of those options are super encouraging to me um like i said Sherfield and hardy picked a hell of a time to have a great game the rest of the sample size of the season is what i'm more confident they're going to bring to the table maybe i'm wrong um but there's just a much bigger sampler sample size of that and even at this you know these are kind of flashes in the pan 